What's going on you guys? Today I get a video on how you content creators can get better quality on your videos if you're uploading videos at higher bit rates, so on and so forth. Okay, now I do have a render video which I'll link below if I remember to. Uh, if I don't and you watch this video and you want that video, uh, comment below and I'll add it if I don't remember to. But anyhow, uh, content creators, whether you're a bigger or smaller channel, what happens is, is YouTube, if you're uploading videos only in 1080p, um, what they will do is, depending on if you get over 500 views or 1,000 views or more uh, on each video, or your channel in the whole uh, has garnered a lot of views in a month, weeks, whatever, YouTube may start switching your videos from AVC to VP9 Kodak. Now, you may be wondering what's the difference. Well, the default Kodak is AVC and the optimized one that YouTube can switch your video over to is VP9 which gives you higher quality so on and so forth. It's a better Kodak to have your videos on especially if you're doing you know real life videos, gameplay videos so on and so forth okay. You can tell the difference between the AVC, the VP, <coughs> sorry about that, the VP9 Kodak. Um, so what you would need to do is you would need to upload a video, obviously that's 1080, um, you know, upload it private and then render out a video at 1440p, which is going to cause your video to go into that MVP9 codec. So this is a screen resolution for 1440p. Now you may be wondering, well, is upping the screen resolution going to tear my video quality to crap? No. You can't really tell the difference viewing it on a computer and to viewing it on YouTube. You can def well, you can tell the difference uh, in terms of your old videos that are on the AVC to the VP9 Kodak. So as you can see here, I upload my videos in 1440p. Uh, you know, this video was uploaded the other day and it happened to get 106 views. I don't care for views. I'm just going to use this as an example and as you can see it's the VP9 Kodak and the video looks fine. Like there's no blockiness or anything. If this was AVC you would see a difference in the quality because again for gameplay videos and stuff like that you can see that there's a bit of blockiness of stuff that happens. Let me see if I can get this video to play. I'm going to have to refresh it. This video for example like uh, Shadowgun Legends, the menu in that in the corner and all that. Uh, this right here, like there's blockiness. It's not clear that text is blocky and that. But then, if I switch to something like Scum with really small text, and again, this is a VP9 Kodak. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it on this video. However, if we went to these videos directly, this is all clear. But this, that text that popped up was was not clear. Like it was blocking this the text that popped up in the middle here. You can even see just viewing this like this is all messed up because of the stuff moving in the background where this when my guy's moving here doesn't look all messed up. So there's a big big difference between that. Um, and again you could be a bigger smaller YouTuber or a big YouTuber or a small YouTuber I mean uh, sometimes the videos will switch over, sometimes they won't. And sometimes you could have a video that has a crap ton of views and it won't switch over. And then you may have another video that has a ton of views and it will. Uh, YouTube used to have a video editing thing where you could add like a gradient, little color effect and trim the video. You could still trim the video but what would happen is if you applied any of those effects, the VP9 Kodak would automatically be applied to that video after the processing was done. They have patched that. The only way to force VP9 is to upload in 1440p or higher. And again, you really, really shouldn't see a difference uh, with it being bigger scaled than obviously the screen res of YouTube because it, it's going to get cut down uh, because people are viewing it. Even if they're viewing it on a big TV, it's going to look better. Okay. So in your video editing program you would just open it up and the screen resolution you would put to that quality uh, you know and if you're doing videos as you can see here I have this for 1440p 
and I render mine out with um, 30 MB okay so the bitrate is 30 that's high because I like obviously if I'm doing a gameplay video or whatever some videos do good some do bad uh, it takes nothing for me to render out a video so that's why I don't care to have this but yeah you, you're you gonna want to do a little bit of a higher bitrate you know doing 15 or 20 should be good um, and then if you're doing it in the 1440 you'll be getting that VP9 Kodak and it should work out but like as you can see 37,000 views and YouTube didn't want to switch this video over this one here has 20,000 they didn't want to switch this one over and I ended up having to do that video edit thing but as you can see looks good and even this that's one way you could tell is if you have little things like this on your video that remains clear with my character moving all over the place and then if we go back to this one you can already tell just with this being on a view that's not moving that there's a degrade that happens within this once it starts moving and stuff yeah like you can you can tell there is a big difference doesn't look like crap so again if you want to improve your quality sorry if you can hear my daughter if you want to improve your quality again just upload your videos in that and again for you guys who use Premiere or After Effects you could use this uh, this uh, coder here uh, what it will do is it will increase or decrease the uh, render time it's actually pretty nice so I'll leave the link below you can either grab the uh, one to one version which is one that has uh, pre-customized set like this or if you grab the R2 which is in testing right now there is a button where you let me see right here you go to configure it will bring up a window and within this window you can customize the Kodak to your liking you get a lot of options to mess with so as you can see here you get a lot of stuff you could change so if you're really really knowledgeable in this then you could start applying this however most of you guys will want to use this one uh, just for the fact that a lot of the stuff that you're going to want to use is built right into here okay and there's an update too actually I don't even know why that's showing an old update that's weird oh no it's new okay never mind um, so yeah you're just gonna want to use this and you shouldn't have a problem rendering out your videos they should render out very quick I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is how you can force the VP9 Kodak on your videos that should improve the overall quality again you could do some testing upload a video private 1080 uh, render out that video again you can record in 1080 render out that video upload it to YouTube private and then render out that video again but in 1440p and if you want you could use that Kodak if you use Premiere Pro I'll leave that link below and wait for that video to process it for 1440p to show up as an option you could even view it on 1080 and you'll tell the difference between them two videos okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this peace out and see you in the next one so you've reached the end of the video thank you for watching all the way and if you want there is a video on the left side which is a video you may like and on the right side you can check out my last video thank you for watching up to this point it means a lot peace out